So here we are with our second example. We've got negative 2x take 3y equals 24. And that's in standard form. We want to change it into gradient intercept form. So we want to keep our y equals over here. Um, y is joined up at the moment to this mul being multiplied by this negative 3. So our first step will keep them together and we'll try and move our negative 2x. So instead of this, this term negative 3y is taking 2x, so we're going to add 2x to this side, which means we have to add 2x to this side, which leaves us with negative 3y equal to 24 plus 2x. Remembering that these are not like terms, so we can't collect them. The next step is that um, you might like to re put your gradient, the term with the gradient, before you intercept. So let's just put that in order. Let's do the 2x at the front and the 24 behind. Most of you prefer it that way. Now this y isn't quite y equals, it's being multiplied by 3. So I need to divide this by 3, sorry, negative 3, which means I need to divide this side by negative 3. This leaves me with y equal to 2x plus 24 over negative 3. Now, that's okay, but it's not very clear what the gradient is. So what I want you to remember is that each term here is being divided by negative 3. So I can do them each one at a time. So y is equal to 2 divided by negative 3 leaves me with negative 2 thirds x. And then positive 24 divided by negative 3. Positive divided by negative is negative. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And that leaves me with y equal to negative 2 thirds x, take 8. And that's how I move from standard form into gradient intercept form.